place from Thailand here. Today's video has been about keto diet for a week. How have I got on? Have I lost any weight? For those people following my keto journey, watch the video and I'll tell you how much I've lost or haven't lost at the end of the video. So my first week doing keto, how have I felt? Like I've said to people before, starting the keto diet, you've got to be prepared. And I did all my shopping. I posted a shopping list so people can follow me along by getting the same ingredients. Now, uh, the first week, first week of any diet is always going to be hard because it's a change in your body. It's a change in feeling. It's a change of how you're going to eat for the rest of the week. Now, besides losing some hair, I went to the barber's today and got my hair cut. So my feeling for the first week, keto diet it does change your body and it just change the feeling inside and uh, you, you've probably heard the keto flu well yes i've had the keto flu day one and day two no problem whatsoever i'll put some photographs up there of the meals i ate chicken salad tuna salad um for my lunch time and then the fatty meals at uh, evening time so you, you had some fat in your body for overnight um I'm going to do another video about keto, are you doing it right? And it goes through more in-depth video with regard to starting keto right and the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it and some tips and advice and guidance on how to start it properly. So getting back to the keto flu, yes, I suffered from the keto flu. Day five, I woke up, headache, not feeling very well, feeling lethargic um, and just like... Uh, not very happy but there's ways and means of getting over this and basically because you're losing weight and you're losing water on the keto diet you're getting rid of the getting rid of the salts within your system as well so top up your salt by using electrolytes or salt and within 15 minutes to an hour you're going to be feeling much better I'll put a quarter of a teaspoon full of, of salt into some water and within half an hour I was feeling okay no headache feeling a little bit better and day six and seven well again I feel, felt a little bit lethargic on number six and day seven and again a little bit of salt into the water and the reason why you feel like this is is your body is changing from it's changing the fuel it's changing from carbs to fats and but as far as feeling hungry is concerned already within the first week I don't feel hungry at all and my aim is, is within two or three weeks to be just eating one meal a day and doing the intermittent fasting, which I'll, I'll go more in depth as to why you should follow that route in my next video about doing keto, doing it correctly. Uh, now I've got a sweet tooth and I've also done a couple of puddings. I did uh, keto ice cream and a keto cheesecake fluff. And if anybody wants any details on that, just just mention in the comments and I'll do a video how you make it. It's so simple and so satisfying and so nice. And I have that because it's more fat based stuff on the evening time. So basically I go to bed 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock and I don't eat again until 12 o'clock the following day. And my last meal is at six o'clock on the evening time. And the benefits that that's supposed to do, oh, it, 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 it's, it's amazing. It, it really, really does help you losing weight. So again, look at these pictures here. These are litre bottle sugar-free Coke, which is okay for you to drink. I fill these bottles up with water just to give, us, give you an example as to how much weight you're actually going to lose. And each bottle, a litre of water, that weighs one kilogram. So how much have I lost in a week? Well, I'm pleased to say I've lost two and a half kilos of weight in a week. And have a look at the pictures again this is my body again a fat body but this is what i'm trying to get rid of so you're not going to see much difference within a week or so of losing weight two two and a half kilos is quite a lot to lose in a week but probably one and a half kilos of that is water so therefore you're also going to lose water but once you've lost that water weight it's it's vital that you carry on drinking water all the time water becomes your best friend and here we are in Thailand, you're sweating every day anyway, so you need to replace the water and the salts that you're losing through natural bodily sweat because the humidity is very high here in Thailand. So yeah, 2.5 kilos in a week. So I'm happy with that. 
and for those people who are following me along the diet leave a, a message down below in the comments how much you've lost if you've lost anything at all and how did you feel on the first week I'm being honest about your feeling in the first week it's not very good it's not very pleasant but it's short-lived it's, it's a week or two weeks of discomfort and then after that it's sort of easy easy sailing after that because you do feel not hungry and that's got to be the biggest thing that I've got to say you don't feel hungry now my blood pressure has come down I'm going to put another photograph up with my my blood pressure when I was 118 kilo I was taking medication for blood pressure to keep my blood pressure down and now I'm on no medication whatsoever I'm fully okay with my blood pressure it's at a normal rate it's actually a lot less than it used to be when I was 118 before taking medication. Now I'm saving 30 pounds a month by not taking the high blood pressure medication. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody but one of the big results is that it lowers blood pressure and it, I'm a living case of it. Blood pressure is pretty normal for a 60 year old man. Um, it lowers the chance of diabetes. So there are so so many benefits to the keto diet. It, it's un unbelievable. So read all the literature on the internet and on the YouTube with regard to keto diet. You will not be disappointed. If you go into the keto diet, you will lose weight on the keto diet. You will feel full after you've stuck to the diet for a week or two, I guarantee. If you keep up to it, you'll do wonders for your health. So I'm at 104 kilos now. So that's 2.6, well actually 2.6 kilos I've lost. So now in week two, I'm starting off at 104 kilo. So I will do another video again next week to tell you how much I've lost or not lost in the next week in my second week of keto. I'm going to post a few other videos as well with regard to the keto diet. Um, so if you're interested, watch these videos also. I'm not as technical as some of the people who explain it. I try to put it in easy terms so people can understand it. but it works for me. So from Les, Fat Man going to slim. Until the next video, bye from now.